Welcome to the next video in the Takademi series. Today I'm going to talk about two different things, and these have been a direct response to the comments. I'm going to talk about rests and triplets. And again, I just want to thank you for all the comments. The feedback has been absolutely wonderful and actually surprised me a lot more than I expected. So I wasn't sure. I kind of, as I said, did these videos originally for just my own students and maybe share out kind of what's been helping my students to see if maybe it'll help you out with your own music reading ability. And it, I'm thrilled that it's helping you out. Now, I do want to address one thing that has come up from time to time in the comments, and I just want to be clear. For rhythm reading, you need to find what works best for you. Takademi has been working wonders for my students. I use the counting system for myself. That's what I grew up with. That's what I'm used to. But the Takademi system has worked absolute wonders for my students and has completely changed their ability at reading music. There are lots of systems out there. There are some that are little adaptations of the other systems. Doesn't mean it's better or worse. Takademia is actually based on systems that came before it. Doesn't mean those systems are better or worse than this one. You find what works best for you and stick with it. And also the other thing is you're going to find some of these systems when you get more into depth like quintuplets and septuplets and some of those really more advanced rhythms that you might come across. Some of these systems might struggle a bit and I'll, I'll even readily admit Takademi, you have to adapt it a bit when you get down to those details. And I will talk a bit about those down the road. But honestly, for everything my students come across and seriously, most of the stuff I see in my own music... Everything covered in these Takademi videos will cover 99% of everything I come across in my daily life and definitely covers everything my students see. Without a doubt, it covers everything my students see with no problem. And they could easily go on to the next step, whether they join a community band or join a different type of group and just play for the fun of it. This will get them through that no problems at all. After today's video, I will down the road, as I mentioned, go further in depth on some of the more larger rhythms, like as I said, septuplets and, and some more advanced rhythms you might come across. But after this video today, I'm going to kind of go back and just show different examples of all the things we've talked about from the beginning up until today. And I'm going to use some of the instruments you see right back there behind me. For today, I'm going to again stick with the drum pad and actually just play on using the drum pad in front of me. But sometimes hearing them on a different instrument will help you out a lot. But as I said, in today's video, we're going to cover rests and triplets. Before I jump in, though, please, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, also hit that bell button right next to it so you can stay up to date with all my latest video tutorials. And I just want to give a huge shout out to all my new subscribers and say welcome. I really appreciate that you subscribe to the channel and I'm just so happy that you're finding whether it's these music related videos or some of the tech tutorial videos helpful or maybe even both of them. Um, I, I really do thank you all for subscribing. And if you have some friends or family or colleagues that you think might find these helpful, please let them know. And also don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I know especially with rhythm reading and tech, honestly, lots of things can come up. Issues happen, further questions, things like that. I will read and respond to all questions and comments and use them to spark videos just like this one. So let's jump over to my iPad. So, up until this point, I'm not going to really recap the other things we've covered. If you're not sure about things, please go back into this playlist and check out the earlier videos. But as I said, we're going to start by the rests. So, there's a couple different rests. It might help if I'm actually on the pencil icon so you can see what I'm drawing. The first rest we're going to start with is called the whole note rest. Just like a whole note, the whole note rest gets four beats. The whole note you hold out for four beats, the whole note rest you rest for four beats. And you're going to see really quickly how I count these. I am a big fan of the keep it simple. Finish that however you would like. <laughs> but I'm a big fan of the kiss method. The next type of rest is the half note rest. Half note gets two beats, half note rest gets two beats. And then the final one, and excuse my drawing on this, is called the quarter note rest, and that just gets one beat. Quarter note gets one beat, quarter note rest gets one beat. Now they do like to keep it consistent, which helps make this easier. Now I do like to keep this simple, and I just 
I use one thing to say all this. I use the word rest. The rest just equals one beat. So if it's a quarter note rest, I just say the word rest once. I'm going to use just the R to abbreviate the word rest, just to save on the writing and help speed this up a little bit so you don't have to wait for me to write out the whole word. When it's a half note rest, I just say the word rest twice. And when it's a whole note rest, I just say the word rest four times. So let's say I had a four beat whole note rest. I would go rest, 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 play. Half note rest, 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 play. Quarter note rest, rest, play. So let's put this into some examples. So we're going to start with quarter note rests. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my metronome going. So remember, on the quarter notes, you say ta, and on the rest, you say the word rest. So this is going to go one, two, ready, go. Ta, rest, ta, rest, ta, rest, ta, rest, ta. And if I drum that on my sticks, one, two, ready, go. Ta, rest, ta, rest, ta, rest, ta, rest, ta. And that takes us through that example. Let's add in, let's do half note rest. So this one's going to go ta, rest, rest, ta, ta, rest, ta, ta. Because we have the half note rest that gets two beats and the quarter note rest that gets one beat. <laughs> so let's start the metronome. One, two, ready, go. Ta, rest, rest, ta, ta, rest, ta, ta. Now let's add in the whole note rest, which as I said gets four beats. So if I speak this one, it's going to go ta, ta, rest, ta, rest, 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 ta, rest, rest, ta, ta. You know, it helps if I could actually count to four and realize there's an extra line there. <laughs> All right, let's get that metronome going again. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, rest, ta, rest, 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 ta, rest, rest, ta, ta. And that is the whole note rest, the half note rest, and the quarter note rest. Again, keep it simple. Just say the word rest or make up any note you want. I like to use the word rest. It helps anybody that's learning to read music realize I'm resting here. And a lot of times what I'll see, especially with drummers, no jokes hidden in there, I promise, drummers, ta, rest, ta, rest, ta, rest, where they'll actually play when they're saying rest, which up front is okay. They're still internalizing the reading and you're still internalizing that, but you do want to get to the point where you're not hitting on the rest because you're not supposed to be playing there. So... Just something to keep in mind that can happen, especially with kids that are learning. So now we've done the one beat, two beat, and four beat rests. So what if you have eighth note rests? This is where the saying doesn't come in and you count it, the rest more like you would when you're doing the one and two and three and four and the numbers. So if you remember, for two eighth notes, you say ta, d. So... Toddy, 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 ta. Same thing. If I have an eighth note and an eighth note rest, again, I apologize for how this looks. It's not great. I'm still going to use the toddy. But what you want to know is I'm going to circle the D because on that one you're going to rest. So toddy, toddy, ta, ta. And if I play that, toddy, 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 I'm not playing on the D. So let's write out an example here. So we know we got ta, and I'm just going to do a T for the ta, and a D for just the D. Oops. Ta. And we're going to do ta, D, and on that D you're going to rest, ta, 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 D, ta. So if I speak that, 
ta ta di ta ta di ta 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 di ta. You got to make sure on those ones that I have circled the D and the ta. You don't play when you go to play. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. Ta ta di ta ta di ta 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 di ta. So. What I always suggest is speak it first. Go through and speak it. Even if it's out of tempo, there's no tempo to it. Ta, ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta, 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 di, ta. And I might go ta, ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta, 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 di, ta. So you can get the words to actually hitting the instrument at the right time. Then you can work towards ta ta di ta ta di ta 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 di ta. And you can start to speed it up and then put it into that rhythmic beat with the metronome. And that will help out. So that is eighth note rests. Take some time, and as I said, I'm going to do future videos that will give lots of different examples using these different things. Now we're going to get down to triplets. Now what triplets are in their most basic form, you'll see them as triplet eighth notes. And what that means is normally two eighth notes equal a beat. But triplet eighth notes, you're going to have three eighth notes with a little three over it. And all three of those notes are going to happen within that one beat. There are quarter note triplets or like as I said, these are eighth note triplets. We're only talking about the eighth note triplets in this because that's the most common one you see. Quarter note triplets work differently. Sometimes you'll see half note triplets. You'll see all sorts of different combinations. But the two most common ones you'll see are the eighth note and quarter note triplets. And in this video, we're just talking about the eighth note triplets because this is the most common one that you will see. So as I said, with eighth notes, you're just going to say ta di. With triplets, They're just taking a little spin on it. So you're not saying ta di. If you think of ta ka di mi, they're just doing a little twist on it. Ta ki da. Ta ki da. Ta ki da. Ta ki da da. And all of those notes have to happen within the beat. Ta ki da. 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 Ta ki da ta. A little bit of a tongue twister. A little bit. So if we put that into an example. And then we'll do quarter, quarter. Whoa! My bad on that. And we're not doing triplet 16th notes. <laughs> Let's try that again. And then we'll do quarter, quarter. Sorry about that. So if I speak through this one, ta, 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 ki, da, ta, ta, di, ta, ki, da, ta, ta. That's how you would speak through it. So now let's put it to the metronome. Ta, 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 ka, di, ta, ta, di, ta, ki, di, ta, ta. Try that one more time. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ka, di, ta, ta, di, ta, ka, di, ta, ta. So as I said, it's a little bit of a tongue twister, the ta, ki, da, 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 ta. So it's going to take some practice, and I said we're going to do, I'm going to do a handful of videos after this, not necessarily just playing on, on drums, on the other instruments so you can hear it in a different way. But take some practice, take some time, go through these different rhythms. There is a great app. I did a video on, I believe it was the teacher side of the app a little while ago, actually quite a while ago at this point, called Sight Reading Factory. I would strongly, if you're really working on rhythm or a teacher that's working on rhythm with students, I would really, really look at this app. You're going to see me use it in my future videos. It's an app I use all the time. I project it and we spend the first few minutes of every rehearsal going over just reading rhythms. We count them out together and then we play them as a group and then we go about our normal rehearsal. But Sight Reading Factory allows you to really customize sight reading, reading rhythms. So I hope you find that helpful. Again, I know there's been some comments on some like 16th note rest and some more advanced rhythms. We will get to them in time, I promise. I'm just going to kind of settle in on these rhythms and just show different examples, multiple examples on multiple instruments so you can hear the different sounds and kind of how it all comes together. Again, please don't hesitate to leave some comments down below if you're not sure about things. Otherwise, this is Adam on Tech.
signing off.